Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you this, how to make this hat with pom-pom, um, well, an optional pom-pom. I've got quite a few, so that's why most of my, my hats at the moment are starting to have pom-poms on. Now, this is a basic hat that um, a beginner can do, so I'll talk through it slowly with you, step by step. Now, the measurements for this hat is... 10 centimeter, uh, 10 centimeters, 10 inches by I think about 8 inches, 8 inches without the pom pom on, um, including the pom pom about 10 inches. Now I'll put a link on below where I got the pom pom from and where I got this yarn from. Um, talking about the yarn, the yarn that I used was ice yarns. Um, so I stick the label upside down. Um, cake alpaca colours. It's a medium weight number four yarn. It's I think twenty percent alpaca, fifty percent wool, and thirty percent acrylic. I know twenty percent alpaca. Even I'm sorry. Uh, it says using 5mm hook, but in today's tutorial I'm actually using a size 6mm hook. Uh, you, I think you're going to use need about half a cake, because this is what I've got left of one cake, and that's what the size of a cake looks like. So you'll only need half a cake for this tutorial, for this size of a hat. Now my head is about... 19 and a half to 20 inches around so this should in theory fit an average sized hat head um so without further ado i'll start you off um so what we need to start off with uh, a slip knot on the hook and chain four I'll meet up with you once you've done that. So once you've got your chain far, you'll now need to slip stitch into your first chain. So you do that by going in like so. Yarn over and pull through both of your loops. Now you need to chain one. And now, working back into this central circle here, and working over your um, tail at the same time, you need to put 12 double, not double, uh, treble crochets into that space. You do that by yarning over, going into the space, yarn over, pull back through. So you've got three loops in your hook. Once you've got three loops in your hook, you yarn over, pull back through the first two. So you've now got two loops on your hook. Then you yarn over, pull back through on, and you take the last two off. So you've now got one loop <laughs> on your hook. I'll show you that again. Um, yarn over, go through the space at the bottom. Yarn over, pull back through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the second two. So that's two trebles crochets done. You need to do another ten. Once you've done that, I'll meet back up with you. So once you've got your 12, you can pull the centre, um, your tail, a little bit to close up the gap a bit more. Um, once we put the pom-pom on top, the, you won't see the hole that much anyway. So you don't need to worry too much about it. So once you've got your 12, you can then slip stitch into your first treble, not your starting, not your chain one, this first treble. Like so. And once you're here, according to an Alexa Answers contributor, yes, that could be very interesting. Did that answer your question? Yes. Thanks for your feedback. Sorry about that. I need, really need to turn her off. <laughs> so once you've gone uh, slip stitch into the beginning, um, you then need to chain one. Now on this round, we're going to be increasing to tw from 12 
trebles to 24. So we do that by doing two trebles into every stitch around, including the one that we've just worked the slip stitch into. So we do that by yarning over and doing your treble like so, and then just go back into the same stitch below, do your second one. And then we're just repeating that all the way around, doing two trebles into the same space. Like so. Alexa, off. Um, so once you've done that, I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. So once you've done that, you now need to, again, slip stitch into the beginning of your... Um, your beginning of the round, which is your first treble crochet, like so. So now you've gone from 12 to 24. Four. So on this round, we're going to increase again to chain one, but we're going to increase slightly differently to just even it out a little bit more. We're going to do that by doing one treble into the same space that you've just done your slip stitch. So, like so. And then into your next chain, you're going to put two trebles like that so that's going to be your repeat for this this round so you're going to increase from a stitch count of 24 from your second round to a stitch count of 36 on this round so it goes one treble into one stitch and two into your second stitch like so So it goes one treble into your next stitch, two into your next. And I'll meet back up with you once you get to the beginning of the round back here. Alright, so once you've done that round, you should have ended in a an increase stitch, two double crochets into your last stitch. You then slip stitch into the beginning chain uh, beginning stitch to end the round and then this is going to be round four will be your last increase round for this size hat using this um stuff um so again we need to chain one and yeah do a treble into this first stitch so on this round you've gone for you'll be going from a stitch count of 36 to a stitch count of 48 um if you want if you're doing it for a smaller hat i would say stop on a smaller hat a smaller head size stop on the round three and skip to round five which i'll put a uh if i remember time stamp in the beginning uh, in the comment section i think so or if you're doing a another a size for a bigger hat, I'll tell you where you can increase it for that. So for this size hat, round four will be the end of the increase row. So at the end of row four, you'll have 48 stitches. So you'll chain one and do a treble into the first chain. And then you're going to do another treble into the next stitch. And into the third chain, you're going to increase. You're going to put two trebles into that one. And that's a repeat for the round. So you do one into the next, one into the next and then two into the next. 
So it goes one, one, two. I'll repeat that again. So you do one into the next. One into the next. And two into the next. And that's the increase for this round. And I'll meet back up here at the starting point. So once you've got to the end of round four, you should have ended in uh, an in increase, so two double crochet, uh, doubles, treble crochets into the last stitch, and then you slip stitch into the beginning chain. So if you want to make your hat bigger, because you're making it for a bigger sized head, what you would do on your fifth round would be chain one and put one treble into the next three chain stitches and increase into the fourth and you'll repeat that all the way around but because I'm not increasing on this round because I've got it to the size that I want so when you fold it in half like so it should roughly measure about seven inches across now row six no no five five rows five through to ten are just going to be one treble crochets into each stitch so you chain one at the beginning of every, every, every row and just do one treble into every stitch like so. So rows five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten will be one treble into every stitch like so so i'll meet you back up at the end of row 10. yeah so once you've got your 10 rows done it this is what it should in theory start to look like um, it'll measure, well that says about ten and a half inches that way, by about seven and a half. So, what I'm going to do now, to add about half an inch extra at the bottom, do two rows of double crochet. Now, if you wanted your hat to be longer because you've got a slightly longer forehead and you want it longer, this is where you would add more rows of double crochet, uh, double treble crochets, um, to make it slightly longer. Um, but I'm wanting about eight inches, so I stopped at the end of round ten. So to do the last two rows, um, again this would be optional as well if you don't have to do these two last two rows if you don't want to. So what I'm going to do is chain one and go straight back into the first stitch and do a double. And all I'm going to do is put one double in every chain while I read stitch until I get back to the starting point so you should in theory have 48 treble uh, not trebles doubles unless you've done more another decrease and you'll have an extra 12 more on top of the 48 so you should have 60 and once you've done row 11 which is one treble and uh, one treble one double in every single stitch 
around back to here i'll make that up back up here so once you've done your last double crochet into your last stitch you then need to slip stitch you can oh that more you can either slip stitch back into your first one i think that's what i'm gonna do like so and then chain one and go back into the same and do another round of double crochet into every stitch back round to your beginning and I'll meet back up with you there. So once you finish that round what I'm going to do is do a slip stitch into the uh, first double and then pull up my working thing and snip some yarn off and make a little knot like so And I'm going to just flip the hat inside a little bit so I can then just put my hat a bit closer down here. And oh, sorry. I'm then going to pick up some um, loops of my yarn like so. And just work my tail, tail through some of the stitches like so and back and forth a few just to get that up tied in like so snip that off Now that's the hat relatively finished. Now this is where you can either have leave the hat as it is, or you can add a pom pom on. And I'm going to add a pom pom on this one. So all I need to now do is the the, the ones that I'm using have a little tag on them like this. I'm going to try and feed it through the little hole that we've got at the top. I'll put it near. If I can, one second. Like so. And then I'm going to get some of my yarn that I've actually been using. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just sew that into place. And I'm going to start here, pick a few loops up, go through the um, centre a bit, and pick a few uh, loops up at the other side, like so. But I'm not going to pull the, I'm going to leave a bit of a tail at the other side. And then pick up some more loops at this side. And go back through the loop there and just literally sew it back and forth just to give it a bit of strength. So just do this a few times until you get, get it tied strong enough, and I'll meet back up with you once you've done that. So there you go, once you've got it tied up and knotted in as tight as you like it, that's your hat all done and finished now. So hopefully you've liked the tutorial and uh, give it a thumbs up. Thank you and I'll see you. <laughs> so thank you and stay safe and I'll see you on your next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.